It was here 51 years ago that the Bristol Omnibus Company turned their employment policy around by agreeing to lift their colour bar. To commemorate the decision, a plaque was unveiled by the campaigner and leader of the Bristol bus boycott, Dr Paul Stevenson. So we're inside Bristol Bus Station, we're waiting for Roger Griffiths, who's the chair of Ajima Radio, who's been given the honour uh, of emceeing this event. It's officially to commemorate 1963 when uh, the Bristol Omnibus Company changed uh, their policy of employing black and uh, drivers of colour. Uh, we've got Paul Stevenson, Roy Hackett and Guy Bailey. They're going to be honoured here. This plaque is going to be unveiled. And if we have a look around, we've got everybody who's anybody within the city, from the Lord Mayor um, to people from all the media stations, to some real dignitaries and people that have been working uh, for racial justice right across the city of Bristol. So it's a really, really important event. And, and what better place than this bus station um, for us to be uh, unveiling this plaque? So we're going to join Roger Griffiths. My name is Roger Griffith. I'm the chair of Ajima Radio. Uh, Author, and, uh, it was the young Guy Bailey who was refused employment because of his colour. 51 years on, he recounts the impact. There were lots of young black boys, men, teenagers that was around us. Had very little support from any of the Dr. Paul Stevenson himself couldn't have put it better. It's the greatest challenge we will face in our lifetime, whether, whoever we are, is the challenge that we have to meet because racism devours wherever there's hatred, despair, fear, racism will be there. It never slumbers, it never sleeps, it's there to destroy you and your love for humanity. Fittingly, the plaque is unveiled on the same day Dr. Martin Luther King delivered his iconic I Have a Dream speech in 1963. This is the generation we continue to be inspired by today. You can't help wondering though if our generation have learned lessons. Having said that, if it doesn't affect you, this event could easily pass people by. Oh, sir, do you mind me asking a question? Do you, do you know what's happening here today? No, not at all. 51 years ago, um, Bristol Omnibus Company removed the bar on people oh, yeah, of colour working uh, on the buses in Bristol. Do you think that's a good thing to have a plaque in Bristol um, here at the bus station? I don't mind either way. No? No? I think it's okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for talking to us anyway. I thought today was a really, really informative, moving, emotional day um, and something really important for people of all races, colours, backgrounds to celebrate but to gather their resolve to make sure that we don't have to go through times like that again. Um, when I heard both Guy Bailey and also Paul speaking about the experiences they had back then, um, it is hard to imagine that people could treat other people like that and I have maximum respect for them that they took a stand with all that that meant, all the aggravation, all the, uh, you know, the difficulty that that brought with them whenever you take a stand and um, 50 years later they've made a real difference in our society and I'm really proud of them.